Opponents of the new stadium today presented their case for parking. They say there are plenty of options to accommodate the influx. KMBC 9's Rebecca Gannon is getting answers in the crossroads. Engineers say there is roughly 40,000 parking spots around downtown Kansas City, and they say that is enough for the proposed new downtown stadium. The Vote Yes campaign hosted a presentation over parking Thursday at the engineering firm designing the new Royal Stadium. Images and numbers show there is ample parking, and engineers say an average night game would bring less than 10,000 cars to the area. I think as we take a look at this, what we found is the greater downtown area has abundant parking <coughs> and adequate uh, infrastructure to really handle the baseball games. We don't need new off-site parking from the Royals to support that. Oh, there's enough parking for them. You've got, you know, the, the Midland, you've got Truman, you've got um, Kaufman, you've got Bartle Hall, you've got um, T-Mobile Center, Grinders. All of the venues I just listed off also need adequate parking. So do all of the businesses, you know, that, that support those and their employees and their residents. Parking here at 17th and Oak on a Thursday evening is already tough. Business owners say this is nothing compared to a weekend. All I can do is implore people to come downtown, come down here this weekend, you know, on a Friday or Saturday night and just look for yourself. Now, part of the plan for parking down here is that businesses would contract out their parking lots and parking spaces to the Royals, who would then turn around and have those as assigned parking that Royals fans would pay for. In the Crossroads, Rebecca Gannon, KNBC 9 News. Engineers say their studies show roughly 30% of Royals fans would not drive to the new stadium, but instead use public transportation or ride share to get there.